hike to Laguna de los Tres that starts in the small town of El Chalten is quite possibly the most famous hike of Argentinian Patagonia, and rightfully so. There is incredible scenery all along the way, and the views of the majestic Fitzroy mountain that dominates the landscape are amazing. It's not an easy hike by any means, but trust me when I say it, it's definitely going to be one of the highlights of your trip to Patagonia. Hey guys, welcome to El Chalten. Today we're going one of the two main hikes here in this area, Laguna de los Tres. And it's a beautiful day for that. Sun is shining, bit of clouds in the sky, which is actually perfect because we've been told that just a couple of days ago, right here, it was snow, storm, freezing temperatures, just natural winter. So we're kind of lucky that today it's such a lovely day. I'm not even wearing a jacket yet because it's warm, unusually warm for Patagonia, I would say based on my experience so far. And yeah, looking forward to this hike. It's a long 10 kilometer hike one way, which is supposed to take around eight hours. I'm sure it's gonna take longer for us because of all the filming and photography that I'm going to do along the way but it's summer, the days are long, so we've got time. For the first three kilometers, the hike ascends steadily through the forest. Around the first kilometer mark, you will reach the first viewpoint, Mirador de las Vueltas, which offers a nice view down into the valley where the river is flowing. If you don't mind a bit of nighttime hiking, this could actually be a very good spot for sunrise, as the mountains on the far side of the valley will be illuminated by the rising sun. Unfortunately, I didn't have the chance to test the theory myself, so this rather uninspiring daylight shot is the best of the most. After the 3 km mark, the hike evens out and becomes quite a bit easier. Soon after that, the road splits, one path leading to Laguna Capri, the other to Fitzroy Overlook. We chose the latter and it turned out to be fantastic. For the first time on this hike, you get a clear, unobstructed view of Fitzroy in all its glory. Honestly, I feel like I could easily spend a couple hours just on this viewpoint alone, simply enjoying the incredible views around. From here on, Fitzroy will be a constant presence, always there when you look up, dominating the landscape. The next couple of kilometers of the trail are a little muddy, but otherwise rather uneventful. Just watch your step and you'll be fine. And if you keep your eyes open, you might just notice a little side path. It will take you to the one of the most fantastic views of the entire trail. Here, the cascades of the river align perfectly with the mountains in the background, creating a view that will make any landscape photographer incredibly happy.
After you're done with the photo, make sure to refill your water bottle. The river water in Patagonia is completely safe to drink without any filters, meaning that you don't have to lug around additional water bottles. Trust me, on a 10 km hike, you'll really appreciate it. Both me and Katya drank the water from the river on numerous occasions, and neither one of us ever felt sick. And it tastes good too. That water is awesome. Totally awesome. Very clean, fresh, cold. Very nice. Two kilometers are without a doubt the easiest part of the trail. The path is completely even and easy to follow, so take your time enjoying the surrounding nature. Before you know it, you'll pass the Point Snot camping site and reach the 9 kilometer mark. With just 1 kilometer remaining, it's easy to think we're nearly done. But this is where the things are about to change. So, we're beginning the final ascent. Ever since we were after El Chaltan yesterday. Everybody was telling us this last part is brutal. Very steep, 400 meters of ascent in just one kilometer. It sounds pretty scary. And I'm already starting to feel it. So yeah, gonna be fun. But let's see how difficult it really is. It was difficult. Surely anyone who's decently fit can totally do it, but it's definitely quite challenging. The path just goes steeply up and up seemingly forever. And it took us a little more than an hour to clear this one last kilometer. However, the view at the top is well worth the effort. Seeing Fitzroy right there in front of you is a truly humbling experience. Unfortunately, we started our hike a little late in the morning, around 11.30, and this is where our late start finally came back to bite us. By the time we reached the top, the sun was already starting to go down in the sky, making the scene next to impossible to photograph. I did walk around trying a few different things, but sometimes you just don't get a good shot. So this is definitely when being late doesn't really pay off. I mean, it's nice that there isn't a whole lot of people here, because everybody has left by now. But on the other hand, as you can see, the sun is just too low on the horizon by now. So it's impossible to get a good shot. Harsh light, deep shadows, almost no detail on the shot. Worst imaginable conditions for landscape photography, really. But, I mean, look at that. It's beautiful. So yeah, no shot from here. Should return someday, preferably in the morning. But yeah, for now, what's left is just to enjoy the view. I 
I wish I could have stayed at the viewpoint for just a little longer, waited until the sun goes down behind the mountains. However, it took us next to 5 hours to get here and hiking all the way back in the darkness didn't really seem like a good idea. But as they say, every cloud has a silver lining. We were only about halfway back when the setting sun has cast a very nice soft light to the surrounding mountains. So I decided to make the most out of it and rushed back to the waterfall that we have seen earlier in the day, hoping for a better image. I guess there is a benefit to being late after all. I think we managed to get back to the waterfall by really the last light of the day. Of course, it's not sunrise when the entire front face of Fitzroy is highlighted by beautiful golden light. But it's still amazing because the sun is hitting the mountain from the side, creating these patches of light. Really beautiful. Some clouds came in for sunset, which is perfect. So. Yeah, I think it would be a very good image and almost like a grand finale to a beautiful day here in El Salten, Argentina, Patagonia. I've really enjoyed it. It's been tough, but it's been amazing. But it's really getting dark. I think we have around 20 minutes till sunset and we still have like four and a half kilometers to cover so we better go thank you so much for watching i hope this has been useful i hope you enjoyed it and if you did put a like down below leave me a question or a comment subscribe to the channel i'm gonna see you in the next one